most often it will fit fairly well around the head if you just tie it closely on the end. It's good to measure on the head though because sometimes the head is a little smaller and you may want to tie this a little closer up. Setting that aside, you'll take your red 130s one at a time and I take and uh, put them end to end, dividing it fairly well in half and then again folding it over, bringing that in together. What you'll do now, every once in a while I have to go back and realign, uh, and it's that uh, perfectionist in me. Taking all four stacked on top of each other, I take my scissors, and I trim them at an angle. Well, it didn't work quite so well, so I'll do it again. Trim them at an angle, giving them a pointed end. But you'll do the same thing on the other end, cutting at an angle, giving them a point. Taking your other piece that you used, we're still on the first red 130, folding it over, cutting at an angle. You've made essentially four thorns, four sets of thorns. You can do it with that few if you wish. I prefer to use more because I like, uh, not that I like to put the thorns in his head, but I like to uh, be as realistic as possible and put thorns uh, clear around. I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm going to trim one end, then the other. Then I'm going to fold them both up. Trim them both at the same time. thorns. Taking uh, your brown balloon, find about the middle of the front by pushing it together until you can come straight to the front. Take one thorn at that point, half and half on either side of the brown, stretching it, tie one knot, basically making thorns.